tell you, the kids do it better. <laughs> Welcome to our moving up ceremony today. This is really an exciting day. Can't imagine that the children are now leaving away from and moving up to the second grade. Let me start by welcoming you, first of all, to the ceremony, and secondly, by having our first graders come in and with watch them shine. Thank you, Dr. Long. Today is a very exciting day. day. The kids are moving up from first grade into Man Hutch or Greenville. And it's a very exciting time for everybody. I hope you guys are all wonderfully excited. We're all excited to see you. I know it seems like a lifetime away, but in a few short years, they'll be moving into middle school and high school and graduating. And I'll remind everyone to take a moment to keep in mind the vision of the graduating Chester schools, which you can find on our website that talks about all the things that we hope that your kids will do when they leave East Chester. So while you may be learning very foundational things now, don't forget the most important things like kindness and caring, geometry and algebra, those aren't so important. Well, congratulations. You're very welcome. Thank you. You guys are wonderful. We look forward to hearing you sing, and we look forward to hearing you doing the wonderful things in your academic career in East Chester. Thank you all. Thank you. We appreciate it. We have other board members in the audience as well today, but they're here as parents, and they have chosen not to speak, which is so, uh, wait, uh, I thought I lost my notes. So, I just wanted to start out in one of the things we're going to do, uh, wanted to talk about today is about next year. When you will be in second grade and in a new school. Many of you will be in Ann Hutch, many others will be in Greenville. It's very, very exciting. I don't know if you know this or not, but one of the things when you have a moving up ceremony is always try to find someone famous whom we can quote so that you can be inspired for future things. So I think I found someone famous whom I think you probably all know. And his name is SpongeBob. <laughs> And SpongeBob said, if you believe in yourself with a tiny pinch of magic, all of your dreams can come true. He said that in 2019, and I thought that was just terrific. Next year will be the year of magic and dreams. You will be growing up, learning a lot, reading and writing and math, and you'll be making new friends. I'll be honest with you. You will probably be nervous before the first day of school. You probably were this year too, right? But that's okay. You have learned a lot this year, and you have grown up as well. Just think about that first day of school this year, how nervous you were. Now think about what you've learned and the experiences that you had. You are so much more mature. You have learned so much. Uh, more than you knew in September. Uh, you are ready for the second grade. Every one of you are here for this. No matter which school you go to, the teachers are wonderful and caring. They will help you grow, uh, to continue to grow and to learn. One last thought from my friend SpongeBob. You never really know the true value of a moment until it becomes a memory. Uh, that's more for the parents, by the way. Uh, I wish you all a great summer and have a wonderful next year. This year, the children have had the blessing of a wonderful, wonderful music teacher. And we're going to show you some of the wonderful things that they have learned. Thank you, Mrs. Ness. Thank you, Dr. 
Dr. Loud. Good morning, everybody, and good morning, first graders. We're so excited to celebrate in the best possible way, which was by singing and hearing their beautiful voices. Uh, we're going to sing a variety of songs, some things that they've been singing since kindergarten, and some songs that we've learned especially for moving up. Let's get started with a couple of songs that we often sing as part of music class. This is America the Beautiful and our school song, I Like Waverly.
as part of music class, uh, we always start off by singing uh, the solfege syllables, Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Ti, and Do. And people have been using this to help them sing for hundreds of years. Uh, but I think sometimes they think I made it up, but I didn't. <laughs> um, so uh, along with singing, we also have some hand signs that go along with each note to help us physically feel where the notes are in our voice. So we're going to sing a famous song that uses these syllables, Do, Re, Mi, from The Sound of Music, and also show you our hand signs.
now we come to our very last song, which is a special version of our SOAR song. They first learned the SOAR song at the very beginning of kindergarten. But when we get to the end of first grade, we add two more verses that are about moving on to our new schools and always remembering to be safe, organized, and respectful everywhere that we go. Uh, before we sing, I'd just like to thank my first graders for doing such hard work to learn all of these songs. Let's give them a big hand. great teachers for their support in making the concert happen, for Steve and our custodial staff for setting everything up. Um, for Mrs. Burke for helping out with our sound and um, AV. Thanks, Mrs. Burke. And um, Dr. Rob and, and uh, Mr. Moody for all their support as well. Thank you guys and thank you for great.
and we will have a few words to say, and then we will hear the children singing. Let me start out by introducing Judah Holstein, one of our board members, who has greetings for us. Thank you, Dr. On behalf of the Board of Education, let me tell you, we congratulate you. We congratulate you. I apologize for my back. You guys are moving up from first grade. Very exciting, right? Very exciting time. Good. Excellent. Excellent. We're eager to hear you sing, so I won't keep you long. I will just tell you, I will remind everyone that you have started in your in your in Waverly learning all the most important things that you're gonna learn throughout your academic career. Things like kindness and caring and respect, right? We can talk about that more later. And um, you know, I'll remind you all that as parents, it seems like a long time away. For you guys it's a lifetime away, but you're gonna eventually go through to school and middle school and high school and graduate high school and part of what we as the Board of Education try to do is remind you that the vision of a graduate in East Chester includes those very, very important things and I ask everybody to remember that every day as you go through your educational career here because algebra, geometry, they're important but the important stuff is the kindness, the care, and the respect that goes with you for your entire life. So with that, I would say congratulations. Now let us move on to the rest of the program on behalf of the Board of Education. Thank you. Thank you so much. One of the uh, things that always happens when you have a ceremony such as this is that the person who gets up and speaks quotes somebody famous and some inspiring words. So I was looking for somebody famous who the children would all know. And you know who I found? SpongeBob. <laughs> and SpongeBob said, if you believe in yourself, with a tiny pinch of magic, all of your dreams can come true. And I think that's really true. So we love SpongeBob. Uh, I wanted to talk about today, this year, and next year. Next year, when you're in second grade, you'll be in a new school. Either Greenville or Ann Hutch, both are wonderful schools. But before I do that, um, I'm sorry, uh, you'll be learning a lot. It'll be a year of magic in, next year, and you'll be doing a lot of reading and writing and math that is going to be a very exciting time. To be honest with you though, you'll probably be nervous on the first day. That is okay. You have learned a lot this year and you have grown up well. Just think about your first day this year, how nervous you were. Now think about what you've learned all year long and all of the experiences you have. Look at how much more grown up you are other than you were in September. And how much more you can do that you could not do in September. You should feel really proud of yourselves for that. You're ready for second grade. Your teachers have helped you to grow and learn. No matter which school you go to, the teachers are wonderful and caring. They will help you to continue to grow and learn. One final thought from my good friend SpongeBob. You never really, this is really for you never really know the true value of a moment until it becomes a memory. Uh, have a great summer and a wonderful year next year. Now we're in for a treat. Mrs. Ness, our wonderful, wonderful music teacher, is going to lead the children. Thank you, Dr. Lau. Good morning, everybody. Welcome. Good morning, first graders. We're so excited that this day has come. We've been working very hard to learn songs, and I think this is the, the best way to celebrate their accomplishments at Waverly is with music and singing. So we'll have a, a variety of different songs today. Some things that they've been singing since kindergarten, 
and some songs that we've learned especially for today. Let's start with a couple of songs that we usually sing during music class. This is America the Beautiful and our school song, I Like Waverly.
patriotic song, This Land is Your Land. Thank you to these amazing first graders who work so hard 
these years at Waverly and especially to present this concert for you today. Let's give them a big hand. version. When they first started kindergarten, they learned the sore song. It's one of our school songs. And now when they got to the end of first grade, we add two extra verses with some special words about moving on to Greenvale or Ann Hutch and remembering to be safe, organized, and respectful forever, everywhere they go. So I hope you enjoy the sore song, Moving Up version. Just before we go, one more round of applause for the kids. 